the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to take a look at how to transfer ownership of a YouTube channel to a different Google account. And this is a process that's actually in two stages. So we're going to start with step one. And for that, we're going to sign in to the Google account that owns the YouTube channel that we want to transfer ownership for. So top right hand side, click sign in. And this is the particular Google account that owns the YouTube channel I want to transfer ownership for. And this is the YouTube channel that I want to transfer. Now, this is where step one begins. The first thing is to determine whether a YouTube channel is actually a YouTube channel or it is a YouTube brand account. So I'm going to click on the top right hand side. And I'm just going to go to my channel just to show you which which channel I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't have any content. It was created last July, so 28th of July, just for verification because the name will change and so will the icon. So this is the particular YouTube channel that I want to work with. So I'm going to click on the top right hand side again. And this time I'm going to go down to settings. Now, on this page, I will see that there is no option to add or remove managers. And that tells me that this is in fact a YouTube channel and not a YouTube brand account. That means it hasn't been linked to a brand account. It's actually close linked with my Google account itself. So in order for me to transfer ownership of this YouTube channel, I must link it or I must move it to a brand account. And that's what we're going to do now. So on the left hand side, there is an option called advanced settings. Click on that. And in the middle of the page, you will see move channel to brand account. Now note that this is obviously a step that you'll be skipping if your YouTube channel is already a YouTube brand account. So clicking on channel to brand account. I'm going to be asked to verify that I am myself by re-entering my password. And I am now in the interface, which is the account transfer channel. So this is it, this is confusing because it's actually a move process. So now I have as my options, these brand accounts, one, two, three, four, five, but only the first one is classed as an available brand account. And that is because it doesn't yet have a YouTube channel of its own associated with it. These ones here, these four down here, as you can see, already have a YouTube channel, each of their own. So for this exercise, I'm going to move the YouTube channel from my Google account called not really TLFU to a brand account called new YouTube for TLFU. And it actually says underneath that it is a brand account. Now, the terminology can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes you will see the, the, the A for accounts, uh, brand accounts capitalized. Sometimes you'll see them being referred to as Google accounts when in fact all they really are are brand accounts. So now I'm going to pick this available account just because I don't actually want to overwrite any of the existing YouTube channels already on these particular brand accounts. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to verify that what I'm doing is correct. I have no subscribers, no videos, no playlists. This is my channel URL and it's the unique channel URL and it will remain that particular URL. But again, I can check that this is the right one. And by the way, these are clickable. So if you do, if you're not 100% certain you've got the right YouTube channel, go ahead and click it. Yep, that's definitely the one I want to move. So I can go ahead and move the YouTube channel. Or I can change my selection as well. I can pick one of the other four. Move channel. I'm being told that this is the currently connected um, Google account called not really a TLFU with this avatar. And allegedly I'm going to end up with that avatar, but that is actually, again, it's a, it's a, it's a bad interface. The avatar should change to Alison in uh, through the looking glass. So I'm going to change that and move channel. And there you are. 
that particular YouTube channel with that old icon is now going to be using this particular brand account. And if I click OK, and I then go to, let's just go to YouTube and refresh this page, you'll see that the avatar has changed. And that is how you move your YouTube channel, which is associated with your Google accounts profile, to your Google accounts brand account. And now on to the next step, which is actually transferring the ownership. So I'm going to click at the top right hand side. And I'm going to switch accounts. I know that doesn't make an awful lot of sense, but I'm now going to pick this particular YouTube channel, which has been renamed and it's actually now a YouTube brand account called new YouTube for TLFU, which is listed down here. And the avatar at the top right hand changes to that because before that I was actually in my Google account itself. So in order for me to work on this particular YouTube brand account, I have to be switched to it, which is why you switch account. But I'm going to click on the top right hand side again, I'm going to go down to settings and I'm going to add or remove managers. And I'm going to go to manage permissions. And clicking on the top right hand side, invite new users. I'm going to enter the email address that I want to invite. Now this is a Google account already and I'm going to choose as its role owner. And that is how I basically invite them to become a co-owner of this particular YouTube brand account and then transfer ownership to them completely. So I'm going to click invite. And that'll take me back to the original pop up and you'll see I'm still the primary owner, but I've invited this particular Google account to become a co owner. And the next step is actually for that person to sign into their Google account with that particular email address and then to accept the invite. So let's do that on the next step. So I'm going to click done. And I am now going to sign in obviously as the other owner as the Google account. That's this one here. After the person has signed in to the invited Google account, which is this one here at the top in my example, they would then go to pending invitations and then click on whatever appears, which should be in my case, obviously new YouTube for TLFU and accept the invitation to become an owner of new YouTube for TLFU, which is a YouTube brand account in this case, I accept. So now I have ownership of the YouTube brand account called new YouTube for TLFU. And if I, I'm still at uh, my account.google.com forward slash brand accounts specifically for this particular brand account. And if I look at brand um, branch permissions, I can see that I am the owner and that this is the primary owner. Now I can't, I can't change that. I can't, I can't remove them. I can't delete them. And if I go, try and make myself primary owner, I can't, I can't do that quite yet. Now I have to wait a, a full day before I can make myself the primary owner of this particular YouTube brand account, but that isn't really a problem because ultimately I have already transferred ownership. It's just not primary ownership. So once 24 hours have passed, I can then upgrade this particular Google account to become the primary owner. I can do that from either signed in as that Google account or as this one, because all owners, be they primary or non-primary, have the same rights. So that is how you transfer ownership from one Google account to a different Google account. Thank you for listening and goodbye.